Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I'm all about inspiring you to get outside and get happy. And today, Dave and I, woo, we're headed to our property in the UP that we bought last fall. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about that. It's uh, It's been unaccessible. We don't know if we can get back in there now. Lots of snow, lots of flooding. So we're gonna try to give it a go. We got all of our gear. We're gonna dig an outhouse. We're gonna put the wall tent up, cut some trees. But first we gotta make it there. Stay tuned. So far so good. Yep. You gonna walk it first? No. Are you sure? Yeah. What's the point of having a four wheel drive? We run Jim and Ted through this last year. Right. Tree down. Okay, that does not look good. Holy cow. Solid wall of water. I think we better walk that one. I think so. Yeah, the mosquitoes are bad. See what it's like. It doesn't look good. <laughs> well, how about up to my boots? Gets better there, eh? Yeah, it's only a couple of inches deep right here. Did you guys see the mosquitoes? Woo! They're thick. And it gets a little deeper up here, but you know the bottom's solid. Bottom is solid right there? Yeah. Yeah, the bottom's good and hard. A couple spots it's a little bit deep, but uh, we're not gonna get stuck in it. I mean, if it's not up to the top of my boot. Let's do it. I'm just worried about the spot down the road yet. It gets really narrow. It's not gonna get stuck. Shouldn't anyway. What? <laughs> Shut up. Do you want to try it or not? Yeah, if you think it's, you walked it. Well, it was solid out there where I was. Okay. Spot. It gets deep again down here in the end. It's not bad. It's worse than it was. We're still not out of it though. There's one more deep hole. I'm ready to get some bug dope on it. Holy that. cow. Yeah. Aunt Sandy wasn't kidding. Bugs are bad. All right, this is the spot coming up I'm thinking about. Oh, looks okay. This actually does have tracks on it. These yeah, aren't this fresh. This is the spot I was thinking would be washed out. Another tree to move. We're on our property right now is this little spot right here. Oh, that's good. That's oh, no big deal. Just one little side hole. Yeah, we we had a place in Alaska that was always questionable to get in and out of. And we buy a place in the UP that's questionable to get in and out of. You never know when you're going if you're going to get there. So, 
It is what it is. I guess it's just something we like about the place, the, the <laughs> danger of getting there or not. Let's walk up and take a look before we drive up. See the property. All the ferns grew back. Yeah, they're almost as tall as I am. It's so much more open these days. <coughs> wow. Woohoo! Everything's still here. There's my little platform. <laughs> huh. What? Because it's warped? not as much of it as you said there is. Oh, is that gonna be bad for the outhouse situation? I, I think we can make it work. We won't have a door this trip, let's put it that way. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, this is gonna be the platform for that other tent and never made it back here this winter. The wood's still covered up. We got nice dry wood to burn. Nice and dry under there. Need to drop a few trees now, right by the, uh, where the tent's gonna go up before we put it up. Open it up a little, get a little more light in here. So we're gonna do that first. So we're gonna take these two down? Was that the plan? Yep. These two, maybe this clump here. This is kind of enjoyable actually. <laughs> yeah, totally. If we were up here just a fraction of the time before, we could have fiddleheads. Oh, I know. Well, I think these two definitely need to go. I think the problem with these two is, number one, they block the sun. Number two, they're just kind of a mess right here. Yeah. So one's a maple, one's a hemlock. Yep. And this is pretty much where the cabin is going, right? This area? What do you think? I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm thinking when we come in here with shovels or whatever, or if your uncle comes with a bobcat, which I don't know if he's gonna get back in here with that. But if we took this berm off and leveled this area, this would be the building site. Yeah, I agree. But leaving that big hemlock, you could put a little deck out there and wrap around that hemlock. Yeah. This is what I see anyway. Most of this is going to get thrown over into this area. And like if the cabin sits here. I definitely want a deck out here. You want a deck out here? Yes. Well, I mean, it, it just begs for a deck. <laughs> does it have to be attached to the cabin? Or can it be like a little walk and then a deck? Sure. Because I mean, this kind of screams like this is the spot to put the cabin. I think so. We'll be able to move maybe the center of it over here. You know what I mean? Yeah, and there's the tree. It'd be a lot of work. Well, I don't know. You know, it's soft. It's not like you're dealing with clay. No, it's not bad. This is all just sand. I mean, it's gonna be work for sure. Every place we do is work. This is how we have always done things is we just, you see a vision for a piece of land and you do the hard work yourself and then it's sweat equity. I mean, it's it's what we do. It's what we like to do. Putting a place in surgically too is really important. Yeah, we yeah. Have, we have never been interested in taking a lot, clearing off a ton of trees, leveling it with heavy equipment into a parking lot and then building on it. Never. It's, it's great to build within what's already there. So when you're done, the place looks like it's been here for a hundred years. You see these brand new big homes and they come into a, a wooded area and they just like whoosh, clear the whole area. And that's where the house goes. It's so just generic and that's just not how we like to do it. We, we've never brought in heavy equipment ever to no. a, a place we've built. So we're gonna be doing it by hand or I got an uncle nearby who's got a bobcat. I don't know if he can get down the trail with it though, so. 
we will see but it's fun it's fun to plan and look and finally we're here it's been a, a long winter long spring we're finally here so we're gonna get to work beautiful pile of dry wood there woohoo <laughs> Yeah, a deck right here overlooking this. It'd be pretty cool. And then, you know, we've got plans to just really open this up in here. Take out a lot of this smaller stuff, let the sun in, show off these big beautiful hemlocks and, and white pines in here. So, lots of good things. Beautiful cedar right there. That's gorgeous cedar. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we better get to work or it's gonna be a cold night without a tent. <laughs> well, think about this too. What is it right now, six? 5.30. We got yeah, we four got, hours. We got lots of time. Yeah. As long as you're not too cold. <laughs> I am gonna get a jacket on, but. You got a scarf? I brought my shemag. I'm yeah, not that cold. I, I just need to get working. I'm just chilly. Oh man, I, I absolutely love this temperature. I like it. It's just Perfect a little chilly. Perfect for walruses. <laughs> well, I'm a weasel, so I need some... I need to get moving to, to stay warm. So it's really not super cold. The wind is chilly. It's probably mid-40s. I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I have Raynaud's syndrome. I have Raynaud's disease or syndrome or whatever you call it. You see how my fingers are all white? All the blood has come out of here, and these are these are just basically like frozen fingers. You know, it doesn't hurt. It's a very annoying thing, and it seems to happen about this time. This temperature for me, where I get it, happens to my toes and my fingers. So they just, it's, it's just awful feeling, and you really have a hard time warming them back up. I usually, if I'm like near warm water, I'll run it under warm water for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. And then the blood will come back and it's better, but I'm starting to get that right now. I'm just gonna put my other layer on. Check out these gloves I gotta show you guys. Dave gave me these for Mother's Day because I wear leather gloves a lot. I go through them pretty quick. Check this out. It's get outside and get happy. Bam! <laughs> All right, he's getting the platform taken apart. And uh, if you're new to this channel, last year I, I put this up right when it started snowing here thinking I was gonna be able to ski in here and uh, it never happened. And then I was gonna do it this spring and then we had coronavirus and nobody could go anywhere. So I never got to use the platform for my smaller tent. And now we need to put the big wall tent here. We're gonna drop some trees, so this has gotta go. So we're gonna take this all apart right now. we're gonna do right now is drop these two trees while well, he is uh, and it's gonna form the foundation for our outhouse that we're, we definitely need <laughs> but we need to do this before we can put up the tent we need the tent to be here tonight and it's chilly so game on kill the spruce tree oh it's still standing but the birch I don't know <laughs> I think it missed your spruce it did but the birch is pretty leany it didn't snap but like it's pretty pressurized right here I don't know if it'll snap back up we can get rid of this or not I think the birch might be done. Why don't you get your saw? Yeah, <laughs> I'll get my saw. Duh. Hey, that was brilliant how you brought those two trees down. 
You like that? I, I didn't know what you were doing. I'm like, what are, what are you doing? It was, you got a seat, like, this is perfect. We, we needed stumps for the outhouse, but we also just needed to open the sky up where, get a little more sun where the, uh, the tent goes. Look at this, it's, it's really nice. Found the tree here. I think we lost the birch, but. I think the birch would be fine if you want to keep it. Maybe, it, it might pop back up, but the hole in the sky now. This is so much nicer over here. What, what a nice difference that makes. Because our tent sits right here. That really makes a huge difference. But I was like, what are you doing with the two trees cutting them like that? That was genius. They both came down together. Because they were kind of intertwined. That was really super good, hon. Yeah, that's, you know. Just today, <laughs> just today at the track. <laughs> Get your outhouse logs. Right, that's what I really need right here. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working over here. I'm gonna free this up, see if it pops back up. cleaned up. Get the tent up. And then campfire. About two hours till it's dark. It'll take us about an hour to get the tent up. I don't doubt it. That's amazing the difference though. Amazing. These are the best. Voodoo heat. Mm. Look at that open sky. You're doing great. 
<laughs> Doing your work. Oh, that smells so good. I love it. Bring it back over here so I can smell it. Looking good. That's it. What a man. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> okay. <Ow. laughs> so sexy. <laughs> About hit me. The correct way to say it is I missed you just by a fraction. What? I'm your precious bride. I'm fat. <laughs> yes. My my fingers are completely good now. See that? I just needed to get to work. Need to warm up. All good now. So if you're new to this channel, you need to go back and watch the video where I discovered this property. I was looking for property, found this property. It doesn't look anything like it does now. It was just a mess. There was an old fifth wheel camper here that got pulled out by a guy for free who wanted it for scrap. So now we're gonna put up the wall tent. Now you saw me do this last year. We don't have a platform, but I found out that I can do it straight up on the ground. I put this tarp down, then a piece of carpet. It's great for putting up the wall tent. We got about probably two hours of actual daylight. It's probably gonna be 9.30 before it gets dark. What are you me for? I'm not well, a meteorologist. <laughs> meteorologist. Okay, you're I'm really about meteors. I'm really asking a lot of you in general. Let's get this tarp put where it needs to go. The tarp goes down first? No. No, we're not putting the tarp down. Scrap that. What we need to do first. Lay out the frame, get the roof up, then we'll, we'll put the floor down. The, the three ridge, and then these long ones are the, uh, the other. So I think this is the ridge. You lay it out and you figure it out. Okay. Here we go. So that's the... Wait, uh, did you like bring like a whole bunch of extra? No. Oh, oh, I see, I four, see, I see. Four rafters, <coughs> one ridge. These are, these are for the sides, that's what they are. Right. We put the legs on one side, but not the other, right? Right, yeah. <coughs> but you, you assemble the roof first, like this. So all we gotta do is just square this up, and then let's... Put the, put the legs up on this side, right here. This is so great, two people. <laughs> it's really helpful. <laughs> I bet. Talking about the sides? Oh, it zips good now. Yeah. Yeah, it does help getting them squished down a bit. Yeah, perfect. Now it's a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one's like in a bit, like it needs to be kicked out a bit. <laughs> oh, it's a bit tight. When you get to there, if you can flip your line over top of the roof. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's got 
to come your way quite a bit. Throw them out for you? Yeah. All right now we gotta now we gotta get the floor in and get the bed in and the stove in everything else in. I got when the going gets tough by Billy Ocean stuck in my head. I got uh, the Dan and Shay song I think. Hoping by right. looking for the song sucks. I mean, I like it, but it's not Billy Ocean when the going gets stuff. <laughs> you suck. I'm I do like Billy Ocean. I'll do anything. Here goes the bed frame. Yeah, it's the bed frame. Yeah, it's the bed frame. We're probably gonna have to burn this off. Yeah. Brand new stove. This is just bare metal, but the pipe is galvanized pipe. It's never been burned. We better do it outside. That's so I bought pipe. this stove off Craigslist for like hundred bucks, which is probably half price. Yeah, if that. Nor you know, if you were to buy this from Cabela's, this is just a regular tent stove. Actually, this is called the Outfitter Deluxe Stove. If you're thinking we just go out and buy this stuff all brand new, we usually don't. You gotta look for the deals, you gotta find them, grab them. If you're, if you're dealing with a brand new stove, you're definitely gonna want to burn it all, burn it off outside. So burning off this pipe is gonna save us a lot of smelly nastiness. Oh yeah, people get sick from welding galvanized metal. It's, it's poisonous. Yeah. Using a galvanized mm -hmm. pipe inside like this stove is set up for, you gotta burn it off. Yeah. Same goes with some stoves you need to burn off too, but you can see the difference here. You want to do that outside first and then bring it into your tent. Matter of fact, there's smoked fish shops in the Upper Peninsula here that actually burn their wood in galvanized wash tubs and you'd think it would poison the fish, but once you burn a hot fire in a galvanized tub, it burns all the zinc, I think, is what's on there. You can see it just burning off. So we'll get that burned off. I'm gonna finish setting up inside. We'll be cozy. Get a fire going out here. This is a feather bed. I got all this off Craigslist. Paid less than 150 bucks for it. I got a table in this bed whole bunch of other stuff. This makes a very, very comfortable bed. I put foam on top too. It's amazing. So I got the foam on the bed too. One important thing to remember is if you're living out in the wilderness somewhere, mice are going to want to get into all this stuff. So what I did is I bought a cedar chest and when we're not in here actively, I put all the bedding, all the sheets, everything in the cedar chest because Mice, chipmunks, squirrels, everything wants to get in here and chew your crap up. So you gotta have it protected. So I bought this cedar chest, 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Works really, really good. Keep your stuff secure when you're not here. And there I have my bedding. the dining room table.
I hear something pretty magical outside. We gotta look. Oh man, that is fantastic. How's the stove? It's cooling off. As soon as it cools off enough, I'll stuff it in the, uh, in the that, that wood's burning good. Oh, it smells good. A lot of it's a really dry stuff. Oh, beauty. Okay guys, I got it set up. Come check it out. Yes. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So cozy. So beautiful. Oh. Yeah. So, all we got to do yet is get the stove in right there. We'll be good to go. Babe. Yeah. Come look at the tent. All right. It's cozy, it's set up. Oh man, I'm so ready. Sit by this fire. But you gotta see the tent. Oh man. Oh, this is beautiful. Isn't this gonna be great tonight? I'm loving it. It's so insta cabin. Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? That is fantastic. Yes. How high in that that one. Yeah. Yeah. That one section over there needs to be squashed a yep. little bit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. It's a little off. Yeah, as soon as that stove cools off, I'll stick it in here, put the pipe through the roof, awesome. and uh, we'll fire the stove in here and warm it right up. I'm so ready to sit by the fire, maybe Me roast a too. doggie. Absolutely. Listen to some ABBA. ABBA. <laughs> ABBA gold, man. Ah. I couldn't think of anything better. Dancing Queen was like number four, but. It, uh, that was what I had to play first. It's awesome. Think about it, like, so nice. <laughs> some of the songs that bring back, you know, 20 year old memories from Alaska. Abba Gold, we used to listen to it at Angel Creek all the time. The, the lady who oh owned the place gosh. played Abba videos. She had all the videos. Oh, yeah. Playing. The Abba videos are crazy. <laughs> crazy. But. Makes me want a Tony's pizza. Me too. That's what she would. We had there at the bars, yeah. Tony's pizza. Frozen pizza. Like Ten bucks for Ten a bucks. Pony for one dollar <laughs> pizza. It was awesome. <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels so good. It looks like that stuff's burning good inside. Good. Be nice and toasty. Clear, clear night. It's gonna be cold tonight. It's gonna be chilly. Be real chilly. Well, good progress. We got here like four o'clock. That's great progress. Open up the sky. This is right here is amazing. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, it much. was very dark right here. Very dark. And it was because of those two trees. It's amazing. It's to totally worth it. They're all cut up. They're firewood now. Well, this is gonna be outhouse. outhouse. What you done? See, if, if you ever watch our YouTube channels and you think, ABBA would go good in these videos. <laughs> Here it is, why. right now. We got ABBA. And our daughter loves it. Son does too. They love ABBA. Great. It's like great, it's great memories. ABBA's really. ridiculously catchy. So. Oh, man. So here we are. Yes. It's good. You're going to get dinged for this. It's going to be like... No, I don't think so. It'll be in the background. Country. We're good.
Look who woke up at the perfect timing. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh my, that looks so good. Have your coffee too. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I'm pretty much awesome. Yes. Oh, man. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day that we got our tent up. We're having such a good time. Thank you for this amazing breakfast. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, I can dream about you. I love breakfast. This bacon is super good. It is good bacon. Where is it from? The store. Comes from a cow. I mean a pig. <laughs> Obviously, what you were trying to be clever there. It was a bomb. This is your fork, by the way. Fresh homemade pico slathered on my eggs. Yes. And now. You know who makes the best coleslaw in the world? Who? I do. Yeah. Why don't you whoop up some? You know who doesn't make the best coleslaw in the world? Yeah. Everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to find good coleslaw. What makes you think of coleslaw right now? We're about to eat I breakfast. was just looking at this pico and I'm thinking, it just kind of, you know, there's so much water in it, you kind of drain it. Right. It's like, it just reminded me of coleslaw. And then it made me angry <laughs> because every time we get coleslaw anywhere, it's made by people who don't care they make it like five minutes before you eat it and it doesn't have time to like Massive get awesome eat. yeah so excited to eat cooked everything it's just dripping in bacon grease mm. that's okay oh oh that's so good mm. i brought mexican stuff too for that pico really so we can have tortillas mm. carne asada Nice. Mm -hmm. This is like gourmet living. Yes, it is. Rustic gourmet living. This is wonderful, Tony. It's so good. Thank you. You know the thing is, we eat this every day. Every single day. <laughs> you guys might be thinking, wow, that's quite a breakfast. We eat this every single day. <laughs> This is completely normal. We're pretty enthusiastic about breakfast in the morning. Yeah. We do it up like this every day. It's usually ham, mushrooms, eggs, peppers, chopped up, sautéed in butter, and then two eggs scrambled into it. Hash browns. Sometimes we have homemade sausage gravy that we put over top too. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> But yeah, this is a completely everyday breakfast for us. In fact, if I don't have it, it's kind of like panic. Something's wrong. Like I need this flavor combination in my life. How is this Louisiana on? I mean, I've tried it a little bit, but... It's good. I'll take any hot sauce if I don't have anything. Yeah. I couldn't find a little Tabasco to bring, so I just grabbed that. Every hot sauce has its place. Yeah, this is a little more like... It's like Frank's, isn't it? A little more like Frank's or Valentino's. Frank's is awesome in soups. Mm -hmm. We go through a big thing of Tabasco, like the big giant bottle, one every month. <laughs> Plus we have other hot sauces in the house. But it's mainly breakfast, just... It's just fantastic. Aw. Where'd you find it? Under a log. Love these guys. Yeah, me too. They're so neat. Had these ones all the time growing up in the blue speckled ones, big black ones with the little light blue specks. Yeah, those are pretty too. I haven't found one of those yet, but I'm looking. Okay, now we'll get you a good spot to hide. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, these guys are so cool. I always love salamanders.
Yeah, me too. I love finding them. Skeeters are bad. Were you looking for outhouse places or what? I was looking for salamanders. Oh, you were? <laughs> awesome. That'd be a good spot for you. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Had just kind of dozed off in there for a minute after breakfast. Oh gosh, I gotta get bug dope on. I won't under here. Oh yep. Hey buddy. Nice. There's one under this one. No, but there's a worm. That's good to know there's a worm or two around. Yeah, totally. With sandy ground, you'd never know. Dave and I are walking this ridge that goes way out into the swamp. Wilderness for miles, hundreds of miles, and it's just so cool in here. It's unbelievable. It's like a park. It's just stunning. And you're just high above the swamp. Holy cow. Man, I could throw a hammock up in here. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I'm speechless. This is so, so cool. We've been walking for 45 minutes along this ridge. Amazing in here. Man, I could use some water. Yeah, kind of took this detour unexpectedly. Oh. <coughs> these big reds out here. You don't see these trees much. Man, it's so beautiful. Yeah, farm red pine and a wild red pine. They got nothing in common. No, they don't. You see them in the countryside and they're, you know, three feet around and a hundred foot tall. That's just a cool tree. I'm finding some treasures. This is a shrub I don't know, so I gotta look it up. But beautiful flowers, just... Just gorgeous. Oh, that's a daisy. Shush, or, or a lily. Stop while you're ahead. Not daffodil? <laughs> you know, this camera just can't do justice here. How pretty this is. Huh. It's crazy. Wow. And no one's been in here ever. Like it's just us. This is not a trail. This is like a game trail and just the way the land lays. That's a cool burl tree. We are stopped to resupply the bug spray. They're pretty bad. Just swarming us. We're so enjoying this laid back day. We're on our way to the lake on this trail 
and we're gonna dig the outhouse hole maybe today yet but we've been kind of just goofing off and exploring it's been so nice but the bugs are bad real bad finally got some wolf scat right there Beautiful. Nice. So pretty. That sandy bottom. It's just great. Hard sand bottom. I'll get in it. Yeah. It's not bad? No, it's not bad. Don't you love that bottom? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's actually a lot colder than I thought. <laughs> now it's cold. Beautiful pines. Yeah, I wonder what's in here. I wonder what's in here. I'm seeing them come up to the surface. Here. No. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Man, this is a massively huge lake. Big, big, big. Yeah, it's about a mile, isn't it? I don't know, it's huge. <sighs> Look at all the winter berries. Yummy. Mm-hmm. 